So the emergency recovery utility, let's take a look at that. And uh, you'll find that here in Myriad Playout version 4 tools and then emergency recovery utility. So again, it says here you should never use it while Myriad's running and uh, it should only be used if you cannot start Myriad itself. Uh, are you sure you want to continue? Let's do that. And so what this enables you to do is take a look at the settings that Myriad is referencing. Sometimes Myriad uh, will get itself in a bit of a twist and uh, not be able to find those files and it will stop you being able to load Myriad up long enough for you to change the file locations, etc. So here it enables you to jump in and uh, find those locations and set those. And so here it's asking where the data is, where the audio wall is and where the directory is. You also have the ability to go into the audio settings. So if there's perhaps a uh, problem with the sound card, which is stopping Myriad from launching, you can uh, change the audio settings there. You can repair the database. Uh, if you're having problems, if, if it's very slow when you're dragging items into the database, it might need mean that it needs repairing. You can uh, amend your license details and you can also back up the, your settings that you have here as well. Uh, menus, you have tools, compact repairer database and help brings up the ability to create a support file, some update information, and also go to where the P squared website is. So uh, here tools, you can compact repair. So here it's saying select the database you wish to compact. This is used only if you're using a legacy access or jet database. It will not work for the SQL version if you're using that. SQL is a more robust database engine. One of the major advantages, in fact, of version 4, it does not need to be compressed in the same way as the older ones do. So that's the Compress Repair Database. So that's the Myriad Emergency Recovery Utility. Very useful if you're having trouble actually launching Myriad Playout itself.